guys, it's Brandon Miniman from PocketNow.com, and we're really excited to show you Internet Explorer on Windows Phone 7 series. We're looking at this through the emulator, which doesn't work perfectly. It's not fully done. Obviously, a lot of tiles are missing from the start screen, uh, but hopefully in future videos, we'll be able to give you a deeper look at Windows Phone 7 series. So let's take a look at the Internet Explorer browsing experience. So here we are in a typical Windows Phone 7 series window. Along the bottom, we have the application bar, and we have the most commonly used uh, shortcuts down there. So there are three here, add favorites, favorite menu, and this one will show you um, your, your currently open tabs. Or you can tap on these three dots to sort of get an extension of the, of the shortcuts that you can have to get to settings. We're going to go through all of this in a second. But first, let's go to a web page. So you tap on the top, and we can do google.com, or I could have used the keyboard on my computer, but for the sake of, sake, sake of keeping this real, let's do it through this, the on-screen keyboard. So here we are, google.com. It came up very fast. Let's open up a new tab. This time, let's go to, say, um, amazon.com. Very, very fast performance. Of course, this is an emulator. This isn't necessarily um, what you'll experience if you have a Windows Phone 7 series device. Let's move around the page and see what that is like. You can't do multi-touch, obviously, although if you had a touch screen monitor with multi-touch capability, you could actually pinch to zoom right now. So instead, I'm just going to double tap to zoom in. Extremely fast zooming. Very, very nice uh, web browsing experience. Let's just click on something here. Let's click on the Kindle page and see how long that takes to load. Okay, so here we are on the Kindle page. We can flick down. You can kind of see the kinetic scrolling is extremely smooth. Let's open up one more tab. Uh, let's go this time to say, um, let's go to Engadget. OK, great. Now, a few things that you can do from here. Uh, and let's go back to our tab view, and let's go to Google. We can add this as a shortcut to our home screen by tapping these three dots here and click Pin to Start. And now we're taken back to the Start page, and there is a shortcut to Google. Let's add another one. So we're going to go back into Internet Explorer. It takes us back to the previous state that we left Internet Explorer in, so a little bit of multitasking there. And let's go to Amazon and put a quick link to Amazon here. And let's finally do it for Engadget, too, because I want to show you something else that you can do um, through this demonstration. So let's go back to the, the multi-view here. And looks like that's going to have to reload. But I'm going to do Pin to Start. So now we have three new tiles on our start page. We can obviously rearrange this, these things, and this is how. You tap and hold, and when you tap and hold, the one that you're tapping and holding comes forward, and you get a little broken heart icon. If you click on that, it will take away the tile, or you can slide them around to rearrange them to your heart's content, or of course, you can close them. So let's go back inside and see what else we can do. Let's go to, uh, back to Amazon. Very fast way of switching between uh, different, different websites, so it's very nice. We can click the Add to Favorite button here, and then you kind of get a Zoom-like interface. And I'm going to click OK and add it to my favorites. Then I'm going to go to the Center button here, which shows me all of my favorites. And you get the very Zoom-like metro interface, as they call it. So I can quickly jump to a website. I can pan to the right to see history, pan to the right again, and I'm back in favorite. So let's go to one of these favorites. Let's go to MSNBC. And then we are brought to MSNBC mobile. And I'm going to stop that from loading. The stop button is up here, and the so is the refresh. Now, there's some other things down here that you may have seen. Some of these don't work. So if I go to settings, nothing happens. If I go to share, nothing happens. Find on page, I haven't tried yet. It looks like it does work. So if I type a phrase or a word that exists on the page, presumably it will find it. Yep, there it is. I typed images, and it went right to it. So, so far, so good. It looks like Internet Explorer on Windows Phone 7 series is going to be a winner. It's fast. It's easy to use. It looks and it feels like the Zune HD interface, which we're a fan of because the Zune HD has a really nice uh, looking way to interact with the device. So be sure to check us out on PocketNow.com for the latest in Windows Phone 7 series videos and news. That's it for now.